it's the Late Late Show with Mr. Craig Kilbang. Tonight, Lucy Lawless. From Blink-182, Tom DeLonge. And the music of Eagle Eye Cherry. Ladies, gentlemen, Mr. Craig Kelbart. <laughs> Wonderful, wonderful show tonight. You know her as Zena, now she's on the X-Files. Lucy Lawless is here. Um, from the group Blink-182, the very entertaining Tom DeLong. And the music of Eagle-Eyed Cherry. Here we go. Music of Eagle Eye Cherry. Right now, our next guest is a talented musician and singer who once ran naked with a porn star through the streets of LA to make a great music video. Please welcome one of the founding members of Blink 182, Tom DeLong. <laughs> Screaming for Tom. Hey, 10 years. 10 years. Of, oh. of Blink 182. That is correct. Are you surprised? Yeah. You're 25 years old. It's been a long time. Yeah, yeah. Well, aren't you supposed to break, aren't these bands supposed to break up and get back together? We kind of did. Did you? Yeah. But, no, yeah, we, st we started and then, uh, <laughs> what are you looking at? Nothing. All right, what are they laughing at? They're just, they're having fun. You're funny. You're a funny guy, man. I, I'm right on TV. Yeah. All right. I, um, yeah, we started the band, and uh, oddly enough, people, well, I don't know if they really liked the songs, but they thought, uh, they thought we were pretty stupid. Because your, your, your performances, you did jokes, and you, you made fun of each too other? Too many. I, uh, yeah. Too, our first, the first thing we ever did, I remember, actually, the first show we ever played, we were playing at this bar, and there was nobody there. They gave us, like, 50 tickets to sell. I wasn't even old enough to get in the bar, and so they said, just wait outside till you're supposed to play, and I came in. No one was there. I'm like, here's all 50 tickets back. We didn't sell any. And then we played. Yeah. The guy shut us down after one song. And this, oh. other, this guy comes out of the back and he's like, here, here's a snapple. You earned it. And that was Whoa, it. Whoa, because you couldn't drink. That's a great memory. And then we did our first demo. And that's when, uh, that's when it all went downhill. That's, it got worse? It well, got worse from the snapple? It got worse. From the, well, that's because, well, what happened was is we thought, for some reason, we thought it would be funny to write a song about, uh, what did we do about uh, my mom being a transvestite? Why would, would you, is your mom, did she allow you to talk no. about those things? No. About she, her? Well, no, she got really bummed when I like outed her, you know, like yeah. she's like, what do you, no, nice. actually my sister came home, my sister's way younger than I was, and she came home from junior high and she's like, mom, what's a transvestite? <laughs> and, uh, and my mom's like, well, where'd you hear that? Well, it's, it's on Tom's, you know. Tom's singing it now yeah, up in uh, his room. That That's great. Weird. Are you, you guys started yours from San Diego? San Diego. And, and, and how did that? Um, what were the other names you, you tossed around before you settled on Blink-182? Do you remember? Uh, well, I was in a band called The Big Oily Men. <laughs> yeah. Is it a different group than Blink-182? Yeah, but yeah. I wanted to keep the name because I really felt, you know, there was star power in that. <laughs> Big Oily Men. And then uh, that didn't work. And then, um, well, Blink was really it. Blink... Well, Is there an interesting story behind it? Someone said it's, no, well, it's not an interesting... I tell interviewers that it stands for boys lusting incredibly naked kids. <laughs> But that doesn't really fly either. Yeah. So what would you tell me? I would tell you that I just made it up skateboarding one night. Is that and that's really what happened. And then the 182, we had to add later on because there's this band called Blink from Ireland. 
but they suck. Yeah. It's not on TV, is it? They broke up, though. They're like techno. And then they, they, so they said we couldn't use a name, so we just added a number. And are, are they sure they suck? Are they bad? I'm positive, actually, the Consumer Reports. <laughs> yeah. No, they, uh, they're, yeah, they're, um, whatever. I don't yeah, know. They're, they're bad. Uh, explain some of the songs. Let's see. There was, um, is this a song or just about done with your butt? Is that a song? <laughs> or is that just a, a Well, motto? we're making t-shirt designs one time. And, uh, and Mark, uh, the other guy in my band, we were at his house on our computer. We're like, okay, well, what should we put on the back of a t-shirt? And so the first thing we ever did is I drew this, I drew this shirt. We had like a, a guy chasing a naked hot dog vendor or something like that. It said wiener's really big. I don't know. And so we're trying to think of other things to put on our shirts. And we went to Teenage Tit Freaks. Then the next one was, <laughs> we're like, how about just about done with your butt? We'll let you know. And we thought that was funny. And it made no sense. Hey, don't laugh, guys. Yeah. And then... Uh, <laughs> So later on, we were in the studio, and we were like, we had a, you know, an hour of spare time out of the four hours it took us to record our you know, first yeah. record. And then uh, we're like, hey, to our drummer, I play a tribal beat. And so we started going, just about done with your butt, we'll let you know, hey, you know. It was a hit. So you guys aren't taking this very seriously. You're just being goofs. No. And no. you're making a lot of money on it. No. All of our stuff's serious. You know what's odd is like, all the interviewers now come to our, like, our latest record, they go, yeah. oh, you guys are like way more serious now, and it's cool that you're taking the step out. And we're like, I guess, but then this record had the worst songs we've ever done. We have three. We did three acoustic songs. One was having sex with Grandpa. See, One that, was having sex with a dog. This is your serious side. Now. This is it's coming out. Yeah. This is you kind of softening <laughs> up and being poignant. I you know. know. Having well, sex with well, Grandpa. You know, we just feel like we have something that we can sing about that right. you know kids can relate to and stuff. I, <laughs> now, this is interesting. Uh, do, do your fans know that you're married? Yeah, I think so. Is that, is that odd? That you, that's got big responsibility. Yeah, you know what, the, the biggest is the fact that I'm gonna have to explain to a, a kid in the future about why I had a big flaming <laughs> sign on state. <laughs> Say that. I like, you know what I like? I like that you said it and you, you, got, you got concerned. You were being concerned. I'm concerned. Was, yeah, we'll bleep, we'll bleep it out. But that was very nice of you. See, but there's a nice guy, there's a nice kid right there. There's like, and he's inside my heart. Yeah. And he's trying to <laughs> come out. So you're worried about explaining to your, your yeah, children Yeah, we had someday. a big flaming F word on stage. There you go. It was so funny though. And you know what's rad is because one of the, the songs that we really got uh, our first record sales off of, not our, I mean, whatever, like our big boom a few years ago was a song The millions called, you made. Yeah, the, the <laughs> you know, the millions you sold, you know. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> No, what is a song called All the Small Things? You know, it's a pretty little ballad about a girl, na 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 na, whatever. It's na na's, you know. And so, like, oh, all what these. What did you say? Na na. -na. -na. I put na na's in it because I couldn't think of any words, you know. What does that mean? Not well, it means a lot. It's really I can't go into it right now. <laughs> and so, uh, so what happened was is so I wrote this song and you know we, we got we, we sold some records and so these little kids get into the band and so you know they can't go to a show by themselves. So their parents think, well, let's go see Blink. They sing that little song. Oh yeah, I like that. I'll go with you. And the parents get all stoked. And then the first thing we have, well, like, like now, that's, it's still kind of, is now with the, 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 dr the big drapery thing drops and it's just a curtain. Curtain. Yeah. yeah. And that F word is on fire. The F word is on fire. And the very first thing I see is parents grabbing their kids and walking them out of the show. And I see it. That's wild. It's funny. It's crazy. It's, I feel for them though, because I totally go, hey, I don't think they should be here either. Yeah. But what can you do? But you're doing well. And you got a new book out, right? This yeah. is it. This is the it's book. It's not even shaped like a book. It's like a little... <laughs> you know what? It, it's like a pop-up book. Yeah, it's like... I thought it should have been a pop-up book. You have a, a new of... CD, right? Take off your pants and jacket? Yes. Okay. <laughs> nice meeting you, buddy. Thank you very much. Have a good Thanksgiving. Thank you. Tom